Alright, so using Hero Editor on Diablo 2, go in single player and click on create new character. I'm gonna choose the barbarian, name him Jack, but forgot that I had one named Jack, so I'm going to rename it Jackie. Alright, so once you create your character, you want to push the escape key and click save and exit game and you'll be back at the main menu then go to wherever you have hero editor mine's on the desktop right there awesome on warfare 2 background well, alright so once you get to your hero editor bring it up and then click open and then uh, I mess around with it so it's not going to be where it should be but you should already be at your save right there where it has your characters for single player uh, click on the character that you want to edit you can rename it right there if you want to change the class change the level I'm going to make my 99 and then I click level over 99 and type in another 9 if you want it to be the highest possible but it doesn't actually show up uh, just go through here and change it to whatever you want it to be I just make it the maximum uh oh I but I missed it yeah. alright there we go I fixed it got scared for a minute alright so now you can make the money as maximum as you want or high as you want it to be. I, I just set the maximum just for the fun of it. Alright. I'm gonna go on to the difficulty of hell. You can change your class and rename it. Uh, go down to my stats. I'm gonna go through and make it the maximum on all of them. Just because I'm such a noob like that but don't put too many stat points because if you put so much then it will glitch your character I've done it before uh, if you don't have an item vault I will post a link in the description so just go over there and download the valor vault and then right click on what item that you want it to be at and then click import item from file find where I have the Valor Vault, mine's on the desktop where all my other stuff is uh, click item and whatever you want it to be, I'm gonna go to an Enigma armor and it shows you the stats of it in that gray box right there on the right alright so you can set up to what all waypoints you want for each act and this is the fun part, editing your skills. You can make them all 99 as you, if you wish. Or you can just go through individually and set them to whatever you want. Quest. I just go ahead and make all the quests long finish, which means I've done every quest. Or you can make it just finished and click batch. Go to a random difficulty to show you it's long finished right there alright mercenary experience I uh, just make it to 99 first click alive though so it says they have a mercenary new ID doesn't do anything that I know of it just changed on that thing right there I, I go to uh, nightmare defensive and click like a Azrael Azrael or something? I don't know. It's like an Arab name. I'm Ezra. Alright, so, uh, introductions, not all that important. Going down to extras, you can also make your own stuff, but I'll do that later. But click save and close. Make sure you click save and close. You only need to hit them once. And then go to single player, click on the, your character. There you go. All you need to know about Hero Editor. And there's the end of mine. The gold right there. And as you can see, my era mercenary. 
Time to go own a zombie. Gonna kill him with the worst weapon in the game up for hell. The weapon you start out with on normal, I think it is. God, this weapon sucks. Like, really badly. Alright, well, I hope you guys have fun messing around with Hero Editor. Alright, see you guys.